Hello friends, welcome again to a new session on problem solving on trigonometry. Again, in this session, we are going to take up a problem uh, in heights and distances. Now, unlike previous sessions where uh, we have solved problems related to trigonometry and application of trigonometry in one plane, this problem uh, involves trigonometry in two different planes. In fact, it is a three-dimensional problem. So let us try and understand uh, what this problem says and how we will solve this problem. So it is given that a man observes that at a point due south of a certain tower, its angle of elevation is 60 degrees. So let us first of all try and draw a representative diagram. So let us say this is a tower and this is my ground. Okay. This is the ground and let us say this point is P and P okay, in this Q, right? So PQ is the tower. So PQ is the tower. Okay. And let us say a point R is due south as it is mentioned. So now don't go by the actual positioning of the point. So uh, usually south will be, you know, in the, in the downward direction. But now we are, you know, for the convenience of or to represent it in three dimension, we are taking R and let us say R is south to Q. And its angle of elevation here is given as 60 degrees. Okay, so this is 60 degrees. Now this guy moves uh, 300 feet due west. So if this is, let us say if this direction, so I'm redrawing the directions. So let us say for this purpose, this particular question, if this is direction of south, then west is definitely in this direction, isn't it? So hence he moves, what does he do? He moves 300 feet due west. So let us say he is moving now. Let us say this is 300 feet. Okay. And to uh, denote it in 3D, let me draw it in a slant position. So let us say this is 300 feet. Now don't get confused. Now I am drawing this angle with black. Now this angle is 90 degree. Now the black line is on the ground. Okay. And RP is not on the ground. RP is in the vertical plane. Okay. Now from this point, the angle of elevation. So hence, I, if I have to draw this, let us say now P, Q and R and this point is let us say S and now S, P. Okay. Now this angle S, P. So S, Q, please remember S, Q and R, Q are on the same plane, are on the ground. Okay are on the ground and if he moves from this and let us say rs is is equal to 300 feet and it's given that now the angle of elevation now the angle of elevation is uh, how much 30 degrees right so let us say this angle was beta and this is angle 30 degrees and this is alpha which is 60 degrees okay you have to find out height of the tower that is what is pq height so let us say height is capital h so this is unknown so we have to find h okay i hope the figure is clear so i will do one more thing i will just shade this um ground surface so that you can you can you know understand that this is the ground surface so this triangle is on the ground and sp and sp so this is the triangle on the ground is it is lying on the horizontal ground okay and uh, rqp and spq so triangle triangle r qp and triangle r sorry not r p triangle p s q r in r in vertical plane r in vertical plane Okay, so this is the diagram. So now you have to find out again, and uh, there are a few more things you can you can mention. So this angle is also 90 degrees. So angle PQR is 90 degrees. And also this angle that is angle PQS is also 90 degrees. Now you can imagine, you know, what you can do is take your notebook and along the middle crease, right? The, the fold where the or the edge on which all the papers are affixed. So you can imagine, you can you can you can just uh, you know uh, open the notebook and put it on the table such that um, 
the plane of the notebook is perpendicular to the notebook okay so when you see there are two folds two two ends of the notebook or two cover pages of the notebook will be having some angle between them but both of these cover pages are fixed are attached at one particular hinge and both these pages are in the vertical or both these cover pages are in the vertical plane and and so what i'm trying to say is so this is the this let us say this is your notebook where this is one of the pages and the other page is something like that okay so this is the same same uh, scenario here and now you are joining the diagonals in both the both the pages both the cover pages so this one is one diagonal and another one is this diagonal and these angles are given so this is similar condition and you have to find out this height right so similar to this i hope you could understand what i'm trying to say now let us solve this problem now so basically what is given rs is given and what is rs rs is um let us say this is x so i'm mentioning this as x and x is equal to um 300 feet 300 feet 300 feet okay now we have to find out what h so obviously we will be using all the information which is which are known and we will try to use the triangles uh, as the info and and the related information so hence guys if you see uh how can we find out h so you you can find out any of these uh sides like rq or rs or qs rather if you know qs let us say okay and uh, or rs rq let us say then i can use any of the two vertical triangles to find out the height h because the angle of elevations are given now how to approach this problem so clearly what all information is given uh, we have been given only one x that is rs and we know that triangle srq is a right is a right triangle is a right triangle why because sr is perpendicular to rq because if you remember the guy moved due west from south so due west from south if you see this is this is how it would be so let us say if this was south and he moved due west from south so hence he will make an angle of 90 degrees it did so hence sr is perpendicular to rq now and sr is given now let us try and express sq in terms of h and rq in terms of h and then we can use pythagoras theorem or the information in the triangle rsq okay so consider triangle pqs can i write in this pqs h upon sq so can i write h upon sq is equal to tan of beta isn't it tan of beta so hence sq can be written as h upon tan beta is equal to h upon tan beta is equal to h cot beta i can write that similarly in triangle see which one prq prq pr q again angle q is 90 degrees so hence i can write tan of alpha this angle this angle tan of alpha is nothing but opposite opposite to tan alpha is pq uh, opposite to alpha sorry is pq and adjacent is rq and we know pq is nothing but h and let us say rq so can i not find out rq from here so rq is h upon tan alpha is equal to h cot alpha why because 1 upon tan alpha is cot alpha now in the triangle sqr what do i know in triangle triangle sq r what do i know angle r is 90 degrees isn't it yes then what can i say sq square that is hypotenuse square so please take care of this sq square is sr square so i'm writing it here and then i'll take it there sq square is equal to sr square plus rq square right why because this angle r is 90 degrees so sq square so sq square is equal to i'm writing again sr square plus rq square now what is sq in terms of h we just found out it is nothing but h cot beta so hence i can write h square cot square beta because it's a square term is equal to sr what is sr 
SR is, if you see SR in the figure is x. So I can write x square plus rq square. What is rq? So if you see rq is h cot alpha. So h cot alpha. Okay. So hence, now, sorry, this is a square term, right? So hence, what do you do? Rearrange h square. And then it is writing, we are writing cot square beta minus cot square alpha. You take this term h square alpha on the left hand side and take h square as common is equal to x square. So what is h square guys? So h square will be nothing but x square upon cot square beta minus cot square alpha. Isn't it? So what is h then? So h will be nothing but under root x square by cot square beta minus cot square alpha right what is the value now let us calculate x was 300 feet isn't it let us see yes 300 feet alpha was 60 and beta was 30 so i will write 300 square divided by cot square beta was 30 so 30 degrees minus cot square 60 degrees okay and then and then it is nothing but 300 will come out of the root and cot 30 is nothing but root 3 so root 3 square minus cot 60 is 1 by root 3 so this so hence answer is 300 divided by 3 minus 1 by 3 hence it is nothing but 300 by under root 9 minus 1 by 3 which is equal to 300 times root of 3 by 8 if you simplify you will get 300 into root of 3 by 8 and this if you calculate the value comes out to be 183.71 feet okay so this is what is the uh, height of the tower h right and it was also the second part of the question asked us to find out what the original distance from it original distance of the man from it that is rq this was the original distance isn't it so let us find out rq so what is rq guys rq if we, if you see we have calculated rq is h cot alpha from here if you see this is h cot alpha so h h we just found out h is 183.71 cot of alpha is cot of 60 degrees isn't it h and if you calculate this 183.71 into cot 60 is root sorry 1 by root 3 uh, 1 by root 3 yes so hence the value will come out to be 106.06 .06 feet this is the calculation now in this question one thing is noteworthy and that is as you are moving away from the point from our point towards the west right your angle of inclination of the point p is going down right so the at point r the angle of inclination was 60 degrees at point s which is let us say some distance away from r in the west direction the value gets decreased so as you move away so let us say if you keep on walking on this west direction in this west direction your angle of elevation will keep on dropping dropping right this is an important learning of on in this problem okay so i hope you understood the solution so hence this problem was a little different because it uh, involved trigonometry in two planes two planes and uh, and but then if you are in command of the figure and if you are in, in if you have understood the question properly you will be able to find out the the desired result always keep in, uh, in mind that the desired result has to be in terms of known so try to you know uh, eliminate all the unknowns and hence eventually you will get the desired result